Now on four, let the battle of the brain cells commence. Let's roll out the think tank. Welcome to Think Tank, and here's your host, Mickey Hutton. Yes, I am Mickey Hutton, and this is Think Tank. Now, the object of the game is to be the first team to put 100 points into two of our three Think Tanks. That team then goes on to take the Think Tank Challenge, and if they can beat the Think Tank Challenge, they could win this fabulous personal CD player each. Now, who are the most important people on the show? It's the teams. So let's meet them. Red team. Good to have you here. Norman, hello. Hello. Tell us a bit about yourself. I'm Norman. I'm a teacher on the Whittle. Yep. I'm, I'm an avid supporter of Liverpool Football Club and I love the music of the 50s and 60s. Right. Um, what do you teach? I teach geography. Right. Oh, so if geography category comes up today, you're laughing, aren't you, Norm? <laughs> Don't believe it. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Norm. Dennis, team captain, what about you? What do you do? Yes, I work for the Child Support Agency. Yeah. I love cricket, Gilbert and Sullivan, gardening and walking. And you were in the RAF for 15 years? Uh, many years ago, yes. Yeah. In 1962, I joined. Yep. You learnt a lot there? Oh, yes. And uh, you can use it in Think Tank today? Uh, well, I'm wearing the same clothes, almost. <laughs> Good to have you here, Dennis. Thank Dennis, you. you're actually David's dad. David, hello. Hello. Uh, I'm an accountant yep. in the world. Uh, my interests are rugby, real ale and history. Rugby and real ale. They just go together, don't they? Yes. Rugby and real ale. Yeah. Good to have you here, Dave. Dennis, team captain, how did you meet? Well, obviously I met uh, David's mother 29 years ago. Yeah. And he came along 28 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Norman, we're both Yorkshiremen, living on the Wirral, yep. and we met at a cricket match, Yorkshire against Cheshire, in the NatWest Trophy about 10 years ago. Well, thanks for coming, Red Team. Blue Team! Kevin. Hi. You all right? Yeah. What about you? What do you do? I'm a market researcher yep. uh, from Hayes in Middlesex. Yeah. I play rugby and also enjoy cinema, music and travelling. Well, good to have you here, Kevin. Chris, Team oh, Captain. I'm Looking very happy there, Chris. Looking very confident. <laughs> well, early, isn't it? You're thinking, yeah, <laughs> we're going to beat that Red Team. Yeah, <laughs> what about you? Any family? Any hobbies? A um, lot of sport. Love yeah. Playing a lot of sport. I don't play very well, but yeah. uh, pretty keen on my sport. Cinema, uh, music, and that sort of thing. What about the brain? Is it ready to go today? Uh, hopefully, yeah. We'll see. You're yeah. going to thrash that Red Team. <laughs> <laughs> good to have you here, Chris. Brian, what about you? What are you doing? I'm Mickey. I'm a computer programmer in Uxbridge in Middlesex. Yeah. I'm married with three children. Yep. Yeah. And I like playing cricket and I support Brentford Football Club. Hard lanes, Brian. Hard Somebody lanes. Has to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Chris, you're the team captain. How did you meet? Um, I used to work with Kevin. Yeah. And we sort of met Brian for cricket. We both played the same cricket club, all three of us. So, well, uh, thank you for coming, Blue Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams. <laughs> so, let's play the first round. I'm going to ask a series of questions. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If a team answers incorrectly, I will throw it across to the opposing team. There are 30 seconds on the clock for each of our three think tanks, and that first 30 seconds starts now. In which ancient city did Alexander the Great die? Chris. Macedonia. Wrong. Red team. Confirm. Persepolis. Persepolis. Is wrong. It's Babylon. How long does it take for the Earth to go once around the sun? Brian. A year. Right. In which movie did De Niro play a character called Rupert Pupkin? Chris. The King of Comedy. Right. In Brookside, what is the name of Beth Do Jordash's sister? Norman. Uh, Rachel. It's right. Oh! Time's up in Think Tank 1. Let's go into Think Tank number 2. You have 30 seconds, starting now. Which district of London is famous for its park, dog's home and power station? Chris. Battersea. Right. Which group has a guitarist called The Edge? Chris. You too. Right. Which country has borders with all but two of the other countries in South America? Brian. Brazil. Right. In the year 73 BC, which Roman gladiator led a slave's... David. Spartacus. Is the right answer. I was going to say a slave's revolt. Well done. With which part of the body is a chiropodus concerned? Dennis. Feet. Right. And time's up on Think Tank number two. Let's go on to Think Tank number three. Your 30 seconds start now.
Which long-established rock group is fronted by Ray Davies? Chris McKings. Right. Which English seaman navigated the world in the Golden Hind? Brian? Francis Drake. Right. With which instrumental band does Hank Marvin play? Brian? Shadows. Shadows is the right answer. And the time is up at the end of round one. Let's have a quick look at the scores. In Think Tank number one, the red team have 10 points, the blue team have 20 points. In Think Tank number two, the red team have 20 points and the blue team have 30. And in Think Tank number three, the red team have 10 and the blue team have 30 points. <laughs> well, it's time to go on to round two. In this round, we put specific categories into each of our three think tanks. We have six categories on offer, and today's are travel, showbiz, science, history, music, and mystery, which could be about anything we want. Now, the team that is trailing in each of the think tanks gets to select the category. So, in think tank number one, the red team is trailing. So, which category would you like? History or science, David? Uh, I'll go for history. History, please. History, there it goes, in the think tank number one. And in think tank number two, once again, it's the red team. So which category would you like? Science. Science, Science please. Science. And in think tank number three, it's the red team. Which category would you like? Is that there? real music or pop music? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a mixture, I think. Is it? What do you want, then? Um, I don't mind. Uh, music? Mm -hmm. Travel. 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 Please. You didn't go for the music. No. Right. That's all the categories selected. The first question I ask is for control of the history think tank. Here we go, teams. Fingers on buzzers. Bodicea was the queen of... Chris? The Iceni. Is the right answer. I was going to say the queen of which British tribe? You have control of the history think tank. I will now ask you a series of questions on Roman and ancient history, starting with Brian. And you have a think tank session available. Who did Alexander the Great succeed to become king of Macedonia in 336 BC? I'll take a think tank on that I one. I think you it? should. <laughs> Philip. Is the right answer. We put ten points into the pot and now, Blue Team, you have a tactical decision to make. You can freeze this category and add the points in the pot to your side of the history think tank. Or you can play. If your team fails to give me a correct answer, the red team can steal the points in the pot. Freezer play. I will play. Okay, Kevin. Which Roman military leader defeated Hannibal at the Battle of Zama? Julius Caesar. It's Scipio. You're eliminated from play, Kevin. Chris. At which great sea battle did Octavian defeat Anthony and Cleopatra in 31 BC? Um. Time's up. It's the Battle of Actium. Chris, you're eliminated from player. Brian, it's down to you. <laughs> I need a right answer before you can freeze. What name was given to the first emperor of Rome? Augustus. It's the right answer. Ten points into the pot. Freeze we'll or freeze. play? I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> and we add those points to your side of the history think tank, which takes you to 40. OK, we're going to think tank number two, which is the science think tank. First question is for control. Which is the largest planet... Chris Jupiter is the right answer. I was going to say which is the largest planet of the solar system. You have control. I will ask you a series of questions on astronomy, <laughs> starting with Brian. You have a think tank session available. Which galaxy is closest to the Milky Way? Magellanic Cloud is the right answer. Ten points into the pot. Freeze or play? Uh, play. Kevin. Which is the brightest planet in the solar system? Uh, can we have a think tank? Yes, you can. Mm. Venus. Is the right answer. Ten points. There they go, into the pot. Freeze or play? Three, four, 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 play. Uh, play. Yeah, there's three of you left. <laughs> Chris. Which planet has one moon... Which planet has one moon called Charon? <laughs> Time's up. It's Pluto. Chris, you're eliminated from play. Brian. Which planet has the lowest density? Jupiter. No. Sorry, time's up. It's Saturn. You just took a guess there, didn't you, Brian? And it just didn't pay off. Odd lines. Kevin, it's down to you. I need a right answer before you can freeze. How long does it take for the Earth to spin once on its axis? 24 hours. Is the right answer. We put 10 points into the pot. 
Freeze or play? I think I better freeze. Right, OK. <laughs> and we put those 30 points to your side of the science think tank, which takes you to 60. OK, we move on to think tank number three, which is the travel think tank. First question is for control. What is the capital of Australia's... Norman. Brisbane. It's the wrong answer. I was going to say, what is the capital of Australia's island state? And I'll throw it across the blue team for control. How bad? Is the right answer. You have control of the travel think tank. I will ask you a series of questions on world geography, starting with Kevin. And you have a think tank session available. In which far eastern country did Mount Pinatubo erupt in 1991? Can I have a think tank? Yes, you can. Philippines. Is the right answer. Well done. I put ten points into the pot. Freeze or play? Uh, we'll play again. Okay, Chris. Which two countries are separated by the Strait of Gibraltar? Oh, uh, Spain and Morocco. Is the right answer. Ten points into the pot. Freeze or play? Uh, we'll yeah, we'll play. Yeah, you're doing yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Name either of the two countries sandwiched between Ghana and Nigeria. Gold Coast. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, it was... I've got to accept the first answer. Yeah. Uh, Togo or Benin? So you're eliminated from play, Brian. Kevin. In which American state are the Snake River Plains? <coughs> Time's up. It's Idaho. You are eliminated from play, Kevin. Chris, it's down to you. I need a right answer before you can freeze. If you do not give me a right answer, the red team can steal the points in the pot. Of what island is Cape Farewell the southernmost tip? Madagascar. Is wrong. I'm going to throw it across the red team. Would you like the question again? Greenland. Greenland. Is the right answer. You didn't need the question. You steal those 20 points. There they go. Into your side of the travel think tank. And that's the end of round two. Let's have a quick look at the scores. In the history think tank, the red team have 10 points and the blue team have 40. In the science think tank, the red team have 20 and the blue team have 60. And the travel think tank, it's neck and neck with both teams on 30 points each. What is going to happen in the third round? Stay tuned and find out after the break.